So a young girl who was working in Burnsville, North Carolina this past week that was working as part of the relief efforts for Hurricane Helene recorded a video that went viral on TikTok about a helicopter from the National Guard throwing rotor wash all over the supplies and all kinds of stuff. I want to give you the opportunity to see it. And I also want to talk a little bit about it and also what the National Guard's response has been so far. So let's check this video out. Okay, so this afternoon, an unmarked military style helicopter flies into the local distribution area and rotor washes slash destroys supplies in Burnsville, North Carolina, okay? We had a meeting with all the parties involved at this site and established it as a no-fly, no-drop zone hours before. Flew pretty low. They flew in and hovered around for a bit, looking like they wanted to land despite our signals telling them no. They're hovering up there. Then they dipped down and performed a rotor wash, which seemed deliberate, then flew off, destroying a lot of the staging area and harming the people directly below in the staging area. I was handling a K-9 at the time. The helo was unmarked, and we were unable to zoom in and see masked persons who flies unmarked helos like this. Question mark. Local PD came in, and we've been trying to find track their flight to find out who they are, where they flew in from. Nothing. Ghosts. 40 minutes prior to this, two unmarked black SUVs running blue lights. Rolled in, circled around, immediately left. They were not local law enforcement and not anyone we had been affiliated with. You could clearly see the supply setup, blue tents, etc., and see that this was not a clear landing zone. You can see like supplies blown around in the wind from the rotor wash, all kinds of stuff, boxes flying around. Looks like they circled for a little bit. So who are they? Why did they do this? For those of my previous videos saying I am spreading lies, this is the reality and what is happening in areas all over North Carolina. I'm seeing it with my own eyes. If you're not boots in the ground and risking your safety to help those in need, despite efforts of the people like this trying to thwart our mission, you don't get to say what is a lie. This is being investigated, and we're trying to find out who was this and why. Yeah. It's confusing because, you know, there could have been a number of reasons. I'm sure that part of it's probably the fact that there's been a really tough... It's been very difficult for people to communicate, number one, first and foremost, um, because there's so many different agencies operating in the same environment. You've got federal, local, state. You've got a ton of volunteers from all over the country and not all of them are local to North Carolina. So the National Guard, the North Carolina National Guard responded to this incident publicly on Twitter saying that the North Carolina National Guard is aware of the incident involving a North Carolina National Guard UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter during a delivery of generators at the request of a local civilian organization to power the distribution outpost in western North Carolina due to the relief mission for Tropical Storm Helene. While attempting to land, rotor wash caused items to blow away from the local distribution set up by a group of civilians in the area. The crew immediately identified the situation, aborted the landing for safety reasons, and departed the area. This incident is currently under investigation, and the crew has been grounded until the investigation is complete. The North Carolina National Guard is working with the identified local civilian organization to assess the level of damage caused by the rotor wash. Safety is the North Carolina National Guard's number one priority, especially with the high volume of air operations currently happening across the region. While the North Carolina National Guard strives for precision in every mission, sometimes things don't go as planned. When that happens, the North Carolina National Guard takes it very seriously and are committed to addressing and correcting any issues to prevent future occurrences. So what the North Carolina National Guard is saying that it was an accident, they didn't mean to do it, they were attempting to land, Maybe they were preoccupied communicating with other people or trying to coordinate other things and weren't paying attention. I don't know. They're, they're still investigating the situation. Not 100% sure what happened. They currently grounded that helicopter crew. Okay, I just want to watch it one more time and just kind of see, maybe pick this video apart a little bit. Okay, so obviously they have a crew. So there's more than one person. Somebody's looking down and able to like view what's below them. I know they're not completely ignorant of it. There's possible, it's possible they're communicating with a bunch of different folks. They might have been looking for an individual that was telling them that they were located there. 
That's possible, right? They dipped down, performed a rotor wash. They didn't perform a rotor wash. Rotor wash occurred as a result of them dipping down because they lo- they they went down too low over the supply area, which that was on them. They weren't paying attention. Maybe they were trying to get eyes on somebody on the ground that they were trying to coordinate with. I don't know. And then the 40 minutes prior to this, two unmarked black SUVs running blue lights rolled in, circled around, and immediately left. They weren't local law enforcement and not anyone we had been affiliated with. Again, so I think that there's a possibility this could have been a misunderstanding because there are... I think the majority of the folks that are up there are trying to do good things to help people, right? I think there's a lot of folks out there that are volu- volunteering their time, their blood, sweat, tears. They're they're shoveling dirt. They're shoveling mud out of old ladies' you know basements to clean up the place. They're throwing away trash. They're folding diapers. They're you know stacking things. They're taking accountability of supplies so they can distribute them among people. There's a lot of people doing a lot of work from all over the country, like state, federal, local, and civilian, all over the place. And so the biggest issue with this whole thing has been coordination and communication because there's so many different agencies trying to work in the same AO and nobody has any like centralized command and control. The state's still technically in control of the, the state. They didn't hand it over to the federal government. And it's a really weird situation because like there's a there's federal army troops there that are falling under a state national guard and like the federal army troops are like the lead, like the head guy in charge of them is a higher rank than the head guy in charge of the national guard. So it's just really weird. It's hard like a lot of people are having a hard time communicating, coordinating. It's possible that there is maybe somebody they were looking for that was over there and he was trying to get eyes on cuz there have been a lot of looters. There's been a lot of bad actors committing crimes and doing things to take it advantage of people up there um, people trying to steal stuff maybe they were looking for somebody that was like suspected of committing a crime that they were trying to find maybe that maybe those unmarked black suvs with blue running lights were looking for a individual that did something wrong that they weren't supposed to and when they realized that individual wasn't there maybe they left you know um, because there's people from all over different you know services whether it be state local federal or civilian that are using each other's aircraft to do stuff too like I know the National Guard has been helping out the Cajun Navy. They've been doing stuff for the Cajun Navy. Um, The Cajun Navy has been lending aircraft to state employees to do things as well. So it's very convoluted. It's very difficult to nail this into one thing. Obviously, the guy should have been paying better attention, realized, oh, crap, I'm putting rotor wash on the supply area. Like, maybe I should back off a little bit. So that's obviously a problem, right? Um, He wasn't paying attention. That's There's probably some negligence in, in that area but that doesn't mean that the whole national guard's been doing that all of the national guard i've seen have been doing a stellar job landing chinooks all over the place dropping huge pallets of water chow mres all kinds of stuff generators like they've been doing a lot to resupply people that are in need so i think this is just like a one-off situation where mistakes were made and i'm not trying to make excuses like obviously they did something wrong they shouldn't have been flying that low right over a supply aggregation area right they should have probably been like okay maybe we should stay away from that or stay at a high enough elevation where we don't cause rotor wash and blow a bunch of supplies around but again you know there's good people doing a lot of good things and people making mistakes and there's also bad people up there making like poor choices and doing things that negatively impact that doesn't mean that it's a blanket statement across the entire national guard or that all of the law enforcement up there are bad or that all of FEMA is bad. I think that there's probably good and bad people or people that are making mistakes and not making mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Life is nuanced. A lot of this stuff, while it may be very catchy and kind of clickbaity, isn't always necessarily because something is extremely nefarious. Sometimes people just make mistakes. Um, I just ask that people like, you know, take time to think about that. That's all. Anyway, I'd like to know what everybody else thinks about this. I mean, what do you think? Do you think this guy did that on purpose? Do you think this was nefarious in nature or do you think that he was maybe it was an accident he didn't mean to do it or do you think that maybe they were looking for somebody what do you guys think because i've heard a lot of other takes about this i'm trying to give my most balanced take based on what i have you know limited information of i don't know what do you guys think